Hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of the Tombstone Tourist. Today, I'm on the way to Bath County, Virginia, where I'm going to try and visit the final resting place of a man known as Slammin' Sammy, the great Sam Snead. I've been wanting to do this video for a very long time, but Sam is buried in a small family cemetery on private property. So figuring out a way to film without trespassing has been a little bit of a chore. The cemetery is located about 100 yards off the highway. So I'm hoping that I can pull over on the shoulder of the road and by zooming in, get enough usable footage for this video. We'll see what happens. So come with me we try to visit the final resting place of Sam Sneed. Well, I pulled off on the shoulder of US Highway 220 and can see the home and final resting place of golfing great Sam Sneed. I'm well off the road, so I'm relatively safe. Now let's see how much usable footage I can get. The house we see in the distance is the former home of Sam Snead. He was born in Bath County and lived here all of his life. He was living in this house just a few miles south of the town of Warm Springs when he died in 2002. As we pan back just down the hill from the house, we see the small family cemetery where the golfing legend is buried. I'm at full zoom on my video camera and it's really difficult to hold it steady enough to get uh, usable footage. I was just about ready to give up on this video when the gentleman stopped and told me that I could walk down through the field to the cemetery. He did ask that I stay on the outside of the fence. So that's what we're gonna do. Here we are at the Samuel J. Sneed Cemetery, located just off of Highway 220 in the Carl Uber community of Bath County, Virginia. The cemetery, as we've already seen, is just down the hill from the house that we see in the distance where Sam lived for most of his adult life. Samuel Jackson Sneed was born here in Bath County on May 27, 1912. His golf career began as a teenager when he caddied at the nearby Homestead Resort. He later became the assistant pro at the Homestead's Old Course and then the head professional at the resort's Cascades Course. In 1936, Sam turned pro, achieving immediate success and becoming a fan favorite due to his sweet swing and his folksy demeanor. During a career that spanned almost six decades, he won 82 PGA events. He also won the Masters and PGA Championship three times each, and won the British Open in 1946. And while he never won the US Open Championship, he did finish second four times, and was inducted into the World Golf Hall of Fame in 1974. Those who saw Sam play claimed he had the sweetest swing in golf. The great Gary Player once said, Sam Snead had the greatest golf swing of any human being that ever lived. And Jack Nicklaus simply said, Sam's swing was perfect. Sam retired from the tour in 1987, but continued to play the game that he loved. In 1997, at the age of 85, he shot a round of 78 at the Greenbrier's Old White Course. And from 1984 until 2002, 
he hit the honorary opening shot at the Masters. Slamming Sammy Snead, one of golf's most beloved figures, died from the complications of a stroke on May 23, 2002, just four days shy of his 90th birthday. To give you some idea, we're about 100 yards off of Route 220 that you can see in the distance. And buried next to Sam and his wife Audrey is his faithful friend, his dog Mike, who died about a year and a half after Sam. Well, this is where I'm going to end this video. Thank you for joining me as I paid my respects to the great Sam Snead. If you found this video interesting, be sure to give me a thumbs up. And remember, if you want to be notified when I post new videos, ring that bell and subscribe. For now, remember, life is a wonderful journey. Take time to enjoy it. Until next time, I'll see you down the road. So long, everyone. Thank you.